I think it takes a certain amount of time and certain amount of body of work to be able to say what you really have to say or what you want to say or what you want to deliver. Um, and even though the book was started, like I mentioned, uh, 12, 15 years ago, with Prabuddha goading me, must do a book, must do a book, you have something to say. I actually didn't really find my voice uh, for, for the longest time and I didn't feel that I had something to um, say or contribute to. So even though I'm the subject of the book, uh, I think the book is much larger in its perspective. It talks to a lot of industry people, it talks to a lot of ex-models, it talks to a lot of corporates, uh, it talks to people about Fashion Week, it talks to a lot of students, um, it talks to a lot of retailers and sort of brings the journey of where the industry started from 25 years ago to where it's reached today 25 years later. I was, you know, I was all of 22 when I started working as well. Uh, so. I keep, I, I don't know where the 25 years have gone and now I'm 25 years older than that and the time that I was 22, so was Milan 22 and so was Madhu 21 and so was Simmer 18 and Firoz Gujarat 19 and you know, so we were all that young. So it's not, and, and actually that's a very important uh, beginning and early years of my life. So it's not as though they were young and I was old. We were all young and we were all foolish and we were all making mistakes and we were all, you know, falling over each other and, you know, struggling to find a space for ourselves. So, and I think uh, any industry that gets developed, so today, I would still say the fashion industry today is not 100% there. We have a fashion week, we have a Lakme fashion week, we have retail, we have luxury malls, but a, an industry that has a, uh, hasn't struggled at all uh, is of no fun, I think. I think it's very important, the struggle is really important and th I'm, I feel very grateful actually that I was part of the struggle of the early years. Today, if somebody wants to be a model, they go to either a beauty pageant or they go to, uh, to become an actress after or an actor after or they go to uh, a modeling agency. And I think in some ways you lose the spontaneity but in some ways it becomes an easier, more interesting industry to work with. Because then you can find more people who you can work with very closely and very easily. Like I find Tamara Moss, the girl who's on my cover. I found Tamara Moss from nowhere. I mean, I, I would have never met her. She's from Bangalore. She would have never come to Delhi. I would have never met her, but thank God I did. Because for me, she's a gem. I learned from my mistakes, um, lots of them. I learned from my small triumphs um, and I learned um, from the people I work with on a daily basis and I still do. You know, my assistants teach me things and uh, my clients teach me things and I learn from books, as you can see. I learn from books, I learn from movies, I learn from theatre, I learn from people like you when I talk to you. And I think that for me, the day I stop learning is when I really will hang my boots up. I love storytelling uh, because I think there's something about storytelling that also you learn from because the day you start, stop imagining, the day you start dreaming, I think, you know, sort of, you kind of die. So I like the idea of that. I worked with a brilliant editor. I worked with a brilliant editor with a brilliant graphic designer. And I know I will do more work with them in some capacity or the other because I learned something from them. I don't know how it is to make a book. I don't know about size of a book, I don't know the thickness of the paper, I just know that I need a fantastic book. <laughs>